So next time you're going to take a road trip, be sure your bearings are packed with fresh grease. That'll be one less thing to worry about on the road. Make sure the wheel is chalked on the opposite side you'll be working on. Now when dragging your trailer up, don't put it underneath any of the suspension or the axle. Go ahead and get right underneath the I-beam. You may have to set up some timbers to make sure that your jack has enough reach to lift their wheels off of the ground. Now a regular automobile jack may not be strong enough to lift up your trailer. It's probably a little heavier than your automobile. This trailer weighs about 6,500 pounds. I'll be using about a 12-ton acorn jack uh, hydraulic lifter to, uh, to get the wheels up off of the ground. So go ahead and lift it up until your wheels spin freely. Remove the hub dust cover and usually there's a little notch that'll allow you to get a screwdriver up under it and then just pry it loose. Then there'll be a little rubber dust jacket that'll cover up the grease cert in the center. Take a screwdriver, flat tip, and get underneath it and pry that loose. That'll expose the grease cert. Now when your wheel is spinning freely, go ahead and hook up your grease gun. Make sure there's fresh grease in it and you'll need to owe about one tube per wheel as a general rule. Uh, you want to make sure that you have a plenty because you want to flush out all of the old and have all new grease in there. You don't want to mix the two like Neapolitan, uh, you know, chocolate, strawberry, vanilla, and have a mixture of different types of greases in there. So go ahead and spin your wheel and then start pumping the grease in. The old grease will start pushing out and you clean that off as it comes out. Now I usually take a little painter stick and just go around and scoop that off and put it in just an old peanut butter jar or something and recycle that. And then clean off any excess. You don't want to get this on your trailer brakes. And if your little dust jacket is cracked or something, you want to get that replaced. And then go ahead and start it on off. If you push in in the center, it kind of helps get it in place. There we go. Take a paper towel and clean off any excess really well. Just to make sure you keep your trailer brakes free of any grease. And uh, then go ahead and put your dust jacket back on for your lug nuts.